Well, now it's time for our top story. Even if college was 40 years ago, is that a shot at me? Did you write this? I, I, yeah, I, I wrote that. Yeah, okay, way to go. You probably remember at least one of the names of the buildings. If you went to the U of M, it's hard to forget Kaufman Union. But future generations of students might know that building is something else. The university could change the name because of the person it is named after. And Kaya Edwards joins us now. So Kaya, you have more information on how likely this is to actually happen. Yeah, there is a new deadline coming from the university president's office. And yes, Chris, sorry, I did write that. <laughs> All right, so when it comes to changing a name, though, we have seen it before in the Metro. A Minneapolis middle school went from Ramsey to Justice Page. Calhoun is now Bede McCoska. But will it happen for Kaufman? Kaufman Memorial Union. It's where you eat lunch, make friends, and, oh yeah, study. But it was a professor who did some studying of her own and found the place you make memories has a controversial history. Kaufman is named after Lotus Kaufman. He was university president in 1920 and kept the position for almost 20 years. Apparently, he refused to allow black students to live in Pioneer Hall, even though housing discrimination was illegal at the time. Now, there's a task force looking into the names of four buildings on campus, including Kaufman, and the office of the president just announced a deadline. The task force has about a month to make a recommendation. One possibility, changing the names. Students have this to say about that. I understand why. I don't know what they would change it to, but I think it's a good idea. Changing the name, it's not going to do anything. Because because this, all these racist people, they have a disease in their heart. Honestly, as long as like I can get food there and nothing really else really changes, I don't care. So what's next? The task force will submit its recommendations to the president by December 17th. And until then, university leaders are looking for public input. But actually, when you click the link to that Google form for that, you do get a notification saying that you need permission to view it. But I did reach out to the university to see if anyone's working on fixing that so that more people can weigh in. Chris.